The self-service portal is a tool that allows vSphere users to manage their delegated VMs protection, including VM Restore and File Restore. These operations do not require access to the Veeam Backup Management Console. For backup and restore operations, the user accesses the self-service web portal. This allows administrators to permit tenants self-service backup and restore operations via the web UI based on Veeam Backup Enterprise Manager. They can select virtual machines to manage backup jobs as well as restore VMs, files, and application items within their delegation mode. Let's take a look at a demonstration. We will first show you how to launch it from the icon on the desktop. So first, we see these two icons. One of them will say self-service portal. When we right click on this icon, we will see that this is a slightly modified version of the Enterprise Manager icon. It's going to the same port, but with the self-restore extension at the end. As we launch the self-service portal, you will see in the address bar at the end, it says self-restore equals true. This shows us that we are using the self-service portal. Once we put in a username and a password, we will then be able to log in. This username and password will need admin privileges to the service, which we will discuss later. This interface allows recovery of guest files from certain systems, systems where you are or you are one of the local administrators. At the top, we see the option to pick different machine. When we select this, it shows us the machines that we have administrative privileges to. Select the system you want to manage, and at the bottom of the menu, you will click the Select button. From here, you can go to the top of the menu and you could enter a file name to filter by file name. You could also select a restore point and then expand to look at the drives where the content would be stored and where you could be recovering the content from. After selecting the file, I can choose to restore, either overwrite the original or keep the original and have a copy. I could download or I could add to a restore list to restore later. Let's select download. While this is downloading, I'd like to touch upon a subject that we had covered in another video called Delegated Recovery. Now, although they look very similar, if we go take a look at the Enterprise Manager interface under Dashboard, you will see some differences. To show this, let's go up to Configuration and let's view the roles. The account that we use to log into the self-service portal is not listed here. That user is not a delegated user. As we open the RDP session, we can see that they are looking at these systems using application-aware processing. If they are listed as a local administrator to this system, then they will have the ability to be able to view and restore files through the self-service portal. Now, if we close down the RDP session and we go back to the interface, we will see down at the bottom under Log that it says restored files are available for download and there's the link to be able to download. We select the download link and in the bottom left hand corner of the browser, you will see that we've downloaded the information we were looking for in a zipped format. That concludes the demonstration on the self-service portal.